there's a handsome character right there. That's me. That's a nice picture, Kenny. That was me when I was like 19 years old. You know, we were kids. We were kids, we didn't know. My job was to build the base camp. I lived in one of these two hooches right here on the far end. Oh, it's just nothing. No coconut trees. You can see our protective gear. Every morning it was just a pair of shorts, socks, combat boots, booty hat, just to keep the heat off of you. I was diagnosed in 2001 with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The oncologist, he says, if I can't cure you, uh, I'm going to give you six months. At the time I was going through the treatment, I didn't know that there was a connection between my work in the Marshall Islands and the cancer itself. As a photo opportunity, they put guys in suits and had them run around. After they got done getting the film that they wanted, they had them take their suits off, and that was the end of it. Our water was taken from the lagoon, and it was one of the highest contaminated places in the area. And that's what we were using to bathe with and to cook with. Years later, you find out that everything we walked on, slept on, ate on was contaminated. I've watched many friends pass away because of what the government did to us. I've known of other vets that lost everything they had just to pay medical bills. And that's not right. Before any more of us die, we want our bills to be passed so that the veterans that really need the care, that really need the help, can get that help. When he found out that he was gonna die, he just kept saying, I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. He loved life. He loved his family. This was Paul at the end. Very, very thin. He's lucky he weighed 100 pounds. And he weighed close to 200. You can see he's a very full man. It's very sad to watch somebody you love shriveled away to nothing. I figured I had another 20 years with Paul. He had six yep. cancers, yep. you know, and every one of them could very well, more likely than not, were caused from his exposure. Right. Kidney uh, cancer, bladder kidney cancer bladder, four yeah. times, two different complete forms of bladder cancer, and then esophageal. Even when Paul went to the VA to tell him that he had been there or whatever, they said, oh, no, you weren't. They expected that in return that the government would take care of him. I've never in my life seen Paul fight for anything yeah. like this. We'll continue that fight. John and I, we're going to continue fighting, continue calling, continue trying to get other uh, and we talk veterans to join in and call their representatives. We've got to, somebody's got to keep, keep after the government or the government does win. We're going to leave here at what time? About 12.30 tonight. Uh, we should arrive in D.C. somewhere around 7.30. We've got our list of Veterans Affairs people that we want to get down and see. We want to see them because they have not signed on to our bill yet. I don't believe they're even aware that, that we exist. This bill gets passed, gets sent on to the Senate, gets okayed by the president, puts us into the atomic veterans. It gives us that, that right to go to the VA if we needed care. And you sent them Gmails requesting I've a meeting. Them, I've sent them emails, uh, spoke with them on the phones, requested meetings, and nothing as of yet. So I think the they're just ignoring thing, us. Exactly. So the like they, they've been. They can't. They can't ignore us when we walk into their office.
We're going to be in D.C. as soon as we cross the bridge, right? All right, where am I going? This way? Yeah. Left lane to take a slight left turn. Isn't that a beautiful picture ahead of us? It makes you feel like you're going to go and accomplish something today. Is yep. this Longworth here? Uh, or is that Longworth? I'm trying to read the sign from here. Now, with Grace, we're not there to... Upset her. Yep. Well, yeah, don't upset her, please. <laughs> no, she might scrap better. the whole bill and say, you're done. Thank you for from all of us. Oh. From every one of us, Anna, we talk veterans that are still alive. Yeah. We, we, so, we thank you very much. We owe you. There are several on the VA committee that have not signed on to the right, bill. Right, right. And my question is why? If yeah. they're on the VA committee, they should be taking right. care of the veterans, yeah. and yet they don't sign on to the bill. Yeah. They might feel like this is a problem that is far away in time and in geography. Right. But if you show them, you know, you're right in upstate New York and Wisconsin, you're right in your home state. Right. I think that that could be compelling too. Yeah. And time's running out. Deep breath. Let's go. Hey guys. Good, good morning, morning, sir. Good morning, good morning, sir. What can we do for you? Well, sir, what we need is is your help. Is T tell me what the bill does. The bill puts us into the atomic veterans, gives okay. us our care that we need through the VA. What floor are we on? Fourth. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Is your Veterans Affair person available right now, or is that... Uh, I've got some information. I don't have a, a, an appointment. We tried to get an appointment, but we got no response. Is your Veterans Affair person available, or is this is on a call, but uh, I can take any information. Yeah, please. Quick letter, information to back up what our claims and statements are. Uh, right now, nothing is being done, but the more we go on, the more of us die. We gotta be nice. But it's, it's hard to sit there and have them smile at you. They roll their <laughs> eyes, they look at their phone. Yeah. They don't wanna listen. They don't wanna listen. No. Excuse me, sir. We're Anna Lee Talk and Toll Cleanup Veterans. The veterans are supposed to radiate. Yeah, that, that is, you are looking at two of them, sir. The gentleman that would witness the blast is, they're now covered. Our guys, we cleaned up the mess after 43 nuclear events, and we're not covered. We do need to build public um, awareness and a public commitment to this. I, I think yeah. this is a long overdue. I, I do want to, uh, I'm interested. This kind of bothers me that, you know, if she's on the VA committee, she's here to help the veterans, but yet she hasn't signed on to our bill. You either don't care enough about the veterans, or I'm going by the belief that you're, you're not familiar with us. I had enough. You can only be uh, kicked around so long, and then you got to be on your way. Oh, thanks. Kenny's getting fired up today. It's Kenny's turn. I'm exhausted. With some of you, you've got degenerative spine, you've got some form of cancer or pre-cancer, you've got other things that were caused by being exposed to the different things you were exposed to. We met with several Congress people. In one way, we had a great time meeting with, with the people that are understanding. On the other hand, the people that should be watching out for us are not. Get a hold of your Congress people. Uh, well, hold you know, on a second. I, Ken, yeah. I think what you need to do is you post 
the ones that are on the committee that would not meet with you. Yes. And if if we know of anybody in those, those states, states, get them on their ass. All right. And if you're from Michigan, you got to call your representative. If you're from North Carolina, you got to call your representative. Stop in their offices. You know, send them an email. At least you've got a record of it. And uh, another thing I want to point out. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you guys are going up to Washington on your own time. You're using your own funds to work on our behalf. And I, I don't think that gets recognized enough. So I just want to thank you all on behalf of the others that, that you can on your work. The most ambitious legislation addressing military toxic exposure since the Vietnam War is one step closer to becoming law. The bill would provide health care and benefits for millions of vets exposed to toxins. Your hopes are up. You're, you're, you're finally getting somewhere. Everything that you did is finally worthwhile. Only to hear no. The bill to help certain veterans has failed. Republican lawmakers blocked the passage of the PACT Act. 25 Senate Republicans reversed course. There's been a firestorm of reaction tonight from veterans across the country. This is an embarrassment. Tonight, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says another cloture vote for the PACT Act will happen on Monday. We want the PACT Act passed now. And if not now, when? The public outcry, the veterans, and the phone calls that everyone was making to the representatives were waiting and were watching. A major U-turn in Congress today. Right now, Senate lawmakers are voting on the PACT Act. The yeas are 86, the nays are 11. The motion is agreed to. The president supports the bill, says he'll sign it as soon as it reaches his desk. I still don't believe it. It still hasn't sunk in. It won't be sunk in until the president signs the bill. Checking the emails. Let me check spam. I'm not seeing anything in the spam either. So I don't know what's going to happen. Wednesday the 10th of August is when the PACT Act will be signed. And I want to witness that signing. I want to be a part of something that I have worked very hard for and many, many other veterans have worked for over the past years. The president requests the pleasure of your company at the signing of the Honoring Our Pact Act. Uh, we made it, Kenny. Yeah, we did. I'll print that out, add that to my wall. Thank you for submitting your response. All right. We're going to go see Uncle Joe. That's the finish line, Kenny. That's yeah, it the is. finish line. Darn right it is. Straight ahead. Look for a big white building. I think the address is 1600 Pennsylvania Excellent. Avenue. They're expecting us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Let's get me over there. I got my wallet. I got my ID. I got my phone with my invitation on it. John, look at this guy's patch. Nukes. Nukes. <laughs> Is that what you work with? We're headed to the White House now for the PACT Act. Thank you for your service, gentlemen. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it. For your service. House holders and appointment only. And we have an invitation. Hi. Can I talk to you? Sure. Okay. Sure. What's your message to you know the veterans who maybe thought that they were forgotten or, or not thought of? I this keep time? fighting. Don't ever stop. And we had to make sure that they did not ever forget about us. Thank, Thank you. you. 
my wife is trying to call me. She doesn't understand that I'm at the White House. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. This gentleman was one of the key organizers the Marshall Islands exposed to radiation. I thank you very much for what you have done for all of us. I really appreciate it. Here, come this way. Come this way? Oh, yeah. Mark, I want to thank you for exposing our nuclear legacy, letting them know that they contaminated us. I told the coalition that we can't forget a veterans like you. I, I appreciate that. We really appreciate it. Thank you very much for all your hard work. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. There he is, President Biden. significant law our nation has ever had passed to help millions of veterans who are exposed to toxic substances during their military services. We have fought for this for so many years. Veterans, surviving families, surviving family members. You never gave up the fight. God bless you all. Now I'm going to walk over and sign that one. This is the first time down in D.C. I'm not in a rush, Kenny. We won, Vicky. We won. <laughs> We're now atomic veterans. There's Paul's flag that you gave me. I see it. So. Awesome. Yeah. Here's a big smile from Paul. Oh, look at, look at, yeah, look at that. Look at that, John. Yeah. Do you think Paul was smiling at us today? I'm sorry, Vicky was smiling. Thank you, Brother Paul. Miss ya.